Hello, and welcome to my nail corner. Thanks for joining me. I have Builder Gel on my nails. This is Triple D Builder Gel. It's my fave. And a layer of peel base. This allows me to change out my mayonnaise frequently without soaking in acetone and saves me lots of time because I'm doing lots of nails. So these are two dips from the Diva Box this month. The Triple D Diva Box is a once a month. These are the colors that came in this month's box. So three of them are exclusive to the box. Those are the Diva Dips and the other two colors were later released on the website. This is what came in my box. There's foils, there's foil glue, there's a tool, there's poshy nail wraps. There's all kinds of goodies in this box. So if you're not um, informed on the Diva Box, I'm here to tell you about it while I do my nails. So the Diva Box is released once a month, right at the beginning of the month, like around the first or second. Oh, this is the um, nail art I'm recreating, minus the coffee beans. So um, hold on a second, sidetrack. I forgot I threw that picture in there for you guys. So a lot of you requested to see that base Manny. I had done the reverse nail um, art, the reverse stamping, not nail art, reverse stamping on the nail and I came into the video after I'd already done my nails and a lot of you guys had requested to see how I created the Manny um, that was on my hand already. And so I am using colors from the Diva Box. The original Manny was done with colors from Double Dip. Um, those are listed in the description box for the coffee inspired Manny. So if you wanted to see those, you can check that out. But these colors um, I thought would do a really good job for a recreation and also introduce you guys to the Diva Box. So that's what I'm doing today. So Nude Shimmer is what I'm dipping into right now. That is not from the Diva Box. It was from a recent release. So that color is available on the website. And I've used it a couple times recently. If you guys have been watching my videos, you've seen it. It's such a pretty nude. I just love it and I love the subtle shimmer to it so um, that's why you've seen it a bunch lately because I really really like it anyway diva box it releases at the beginning of each month there have only been two so far it's a fairly new um, facet of triple D and it's awesome so each month there are several um, three dips that are exclusive to the box so you can't get them any other time they're in the box and then that's it they're gone and then um, there have been one or two colors in addition to that that are basically early release so you get them in the box and then a week or two later when um, mainline colors are released those go there so you're kind of getting like an early an early uh, shot at those as well as um, products so this month was foiling around which is a um, a foil glue for applying foils to your nails um, and then also a package of foils and then there was also included a nail wrap from Poshi nail designs so that was really cool and very fall themed and I'm saving it because I want to use it for my Thanksgiving Manny so that's what was in oh and this month came with that silicone tool you'll see me use it later on um, it's great for applying nail wraps or foils or um, or just cleaning up gel around your nail whatever it's a great tool to have on hand so that was this month last month's um, early release item was the matte gel top coat which is awesome um, I've used it a lot so I, I really like that one um, but anyway it's just a really cool box and you're getting such a great deal I think that these boxes were both valued at over $75 and they're $45 including shipping so you're getting like a 35% discount on those items you get you know early release or exclusive items it's just it's super cool so if you're interested in that then watch out on um, Instagram and join the Triple D Facebook group and they um, um, we'll give you guys a heads up when that's coming. It's been releasing, like I said, the first or second day of the month, and then it's been 6 p.m. Pacific time. So if we continue on that trend, then that's when you want to look out for it. Um, like I said, great deal, lots of fun items, and they sell out fast. Like the first month, I think it was 10 minutes. The second month, it was like, I don't know, six minutes they sold out. Um, there were 230 boxes the second month. Um, so yeah, they go super quick. So if these look good and exciting to you, then make sure you're keyed up and ready to go. So 
back to nails. So basically I'm doing my basic dip application and I did three nails in that nude shimmer color and then I'm using this nice dark chocolate brown. I think it's really really pretty. It's like a really rich brown. I like it a lot. Um, it's perfect for Thanksgiving-y fall time. So that was one of the diva dips and then this was another one of them and it's a really pretty um, like brown glitter with I want to say like coppery or bronzy kind of um, glitters in it so you'll see it when it's on my nail um, you can't really judge it or what its true color is until after um, after it's finished because you know like the glitter dips have like some clear mixed in and, and whatnot and it kind of dulls the glitter a little bit I think until you're done and activated and top coated but even there like look at that beautiful I just think it's such a beautiful glitter. I really, really like that. So um, those are the colors I chose to use. And then I'll come back in in a second and explain to you what I'm doing um, to all of my accents because that's really where it comes in. You guys know how to do the basic dip, but um, I guess I'm going to get right into it here. So I am using a triple D ombre brush. Those also are available on the website. They're great little brushes for your nail art needs and I am going to do a little glitter ombre on this thumb because again I'm recreating that coffee inspired Manny and so um, that's what I did on that one so that's what I'm doing on this one and if you listen to me jabber on thus far you're kind of getting two Mannies for one out of this deal because I created this recreation and then I was like you know I really want to use those um nail foils that came in the box this month and the ones that really drew me in I worked with and then I was like you know what it doesn't really go so well with the like color scheme that I had created so I popped off three of my nails and changed them out so you'll see those at the end um, as I top coat them I was like oh you better show these guys why the finished picture looks different than what I just created on camera <laughs> so anyway it's a little bit long but you'll get two looks out of it and I really liked how it ended up so I hope that those of you who wanted the recreation are happy because I'm doing a recreation and then the rest of you who are like meh I already saw that uh, get a new look out of it at the end so uh, hang in there and watch me work I'm I did that little glitter ombre on my um, thumb and then I'm, that was like waiting for my pinky to dry a little bit before I went in for my second dip so then I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna clear cap when I clear cap I'm gonna do a little bit of a scrub ombre on my index finger and I'll probably pop in with some thoughts on that in just a second So here is my little quick scrub ombre. I grabbed um, my wet and wild ombre brush because I've used it for black and dark colors and whatnot. Um, so I wasn't afraid to dip it into this dark chocolate brown. So I dip into the clear first and then get a little bit of that darker color on my nail. Uh, whatever darker color you're using is what you want to do or use. And what you're basically doing is staining the clear dip that you just did. So I started pretty gently because I wanted to make sure my base was drying and then you can get a little bit more um, I don't want to say aggressive but you can just like rub a little bit harder than you are initially so test it out first make sure you're not gonna like mess up your dip application and then you can really scrub this on and so that's all I'm doing is I'm taking that darker color scrubbing it on and honestly when you're doing the darker color at the base of the nail like this the way I'm doing it is not ideal I should have turned my hand around kind of towards me and done it um, I do a second uh, pass at this when I'm clear capping all of my nails and the way I turn my hand around for that is ideal so I took a buffing block in towards the tip because what happened is when I was doing it down I kind of was brushing the the brown the chocolate brown towards my tip but I still wanted a lighter color tip that's the whole point of an ombre right so if you just saw how I turned my hand around just then 
that's kind of your ideal if you're working on the base of your finger um, or of your nail towards the cuticle line just like you normally would like gravity is going to make that powder fall so if you hold it with your tip up then it's not going to get like the chocolate brown on the tip of your nail where you want it to be light so I hope that makes sense uh, like I said um, do as I say not as I do apparently but like I said I'll do a little second pass at that finger and you'll kind of see how I hold it um, and that's the more ideal when you're working on like I said the darker color at your cuticle line the last time I did a scrub ombre with like black on red um, I did the black at the tip and so that when you're doing it that way you're kind of fine to angle, angle your tip down but this was the reverse with the darker at the cuticle line of my nail so anyway I recommend turning your hand around and doing it that way so um, when you see me switching back switching back and forth between clears it's because my giant jar of clear is for solid colors and my little one is contaminated all over the place with glitter that's my glitter dip so it's the same clear it's double dip clear it's my fave um, again I've mentioned it before and I'll tell you again the two ounce jar is $14.99 and Kate 25 saves you 25% off at the double dip shop so that is a steal for what has been my favorite clear for a while now so if you don't have a good clear or you just need to restock consider that one because it's a really good deal and it's a really good clear so like i said i have a big jar for solids and a little jar for glitter so i don't have to worry about like switching back and forth with contamination so that is how it goes anyway um i'm gonna finish this up and i'll be back in a little bit to talk to you guys about foil gel or foil glue or whatever you want to call it So I went ahead and filed and shaped and all that stuff off camera and I am going on, going on, going in with my gel base. Um, you guys might notice that sometimes I, like sometimes I use dip top, sometimes I use the gel. It, it doesn't always have a rhyme or reason, but if I'm working with another gel product, like I'm going to be working with the foil glue, I keep calling it foil glue. I, I guess it's the, the triple D one is called foiling around, which I think is really fun. Um, but I guess it's like a foil. I think it's called foil glue, not foil gel, but whatever. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, because I'm working with another gel product, I just opted to go with all gel for my top. Um, so yeah, it just kind of depends on my mood and what I'm working with at the time. I thought that ombre turned out really pretty, by the way. Um, I really like that glitter on the chocolate brown. It, it was really pretty. So anyway. These would be such great Thanksgiving colors, you guys. Triple D just like killed this box uh, aiming at like November, which is really cool because everybody's kind of hopped over to Christmas manis. I've actually started doing them. You'll see some coming up, but it was really fun to have like a fall vibe mani going on and I plan to squeeze another one or two in there too before it's all Christmas all the time. Um, anyway, so that is my gel base and now gel top application to the three nails that I'm done with. Um, again, I like to use gel base under gel top if it's on top of dip and that helps prevent any peeling from happening. So these are the foils that came in the box. There's some like animal print, there's some marbly ones, there's, that's a snake print. Like 
there's all kinds of different ones. They were they stick together a little bit because they're such like thin whatever cellophane or what it foils I guess is what they're actually called. I don't know why I said cellophane, but anyway, um, so I was. I was going through them, like looking to be inspired. Like, what did I want to do? Um, the one that really caught my eye is a black and gold. Uh, you'll see it in a second because I'm going to pull it out, but I just wanted to kind of flip through these so you guys could see them. That's the one that really caught my eye. And I was like, yeah, I could, yeah, this will go. And then I was working with it and I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really like like the black with the brown tones so much. So that's why I ended up switching out my Manny. But you can let me know in the end, like which you preferred. If you were like, hey, it would have been fine with the brown nails. Or if you like it better to what I switched it out in the end, you guys. Which I'm not going to tell you until I switch it out. Um, I don't think I already told you. It'd be funny if I already did. But I don't think I did. So this is just like washi tape. I had it from like my calendar accessories drawer or something from a planner you can use whatever you have on hand whether it's scotch tape or painters tape or packing tape or whatever I just wanted to create a diagonal line across my nail so I went ahead and used that cool silicone tool to just gently kind of push it down and make sure I had a good seal I did the best I could I still felt like I kind of didn't get it totally flat on the second nail I did but hey I was happy with it so I guess that's all that that really matters um I hope you were happy with it too though I don't want to say your opinion doesn't count so anyway I went and applied that and then this is the foiling around um nail glue now I will tell you I struggle with foil glue or foil gel or whatever we're calling it foiling around um and I don't know why. So I tried two different techniques and I'm gonna show you both of them. This is sped up slightly because I was just being super careful and working really slowly. So after I applied it, I went ahead and peeled off the washi tape and then cured. So you cure for 30 seconds and then you press on your foil. Um, it worked out just fine for me for this look because I didn't need it to transfer as a whole. You know, like if I had a design that was an entire, I don't know, like a, an entire image, but this is meant to be kind of like abstract and patchy and whatever. So I pushed it on there and pressed and I was like, ooh, I don't, I don't know if it's really sticking because I could see on the underside of my nail that it wasn't laying flat on there. So when I pull it off, you'll see that only part of it kind of transfers but guess what that gel it stays sticky so you can just go ahead and press in all the spots that you missed and pull off and it and it totally works so in the end I was like huh that totally worked fine and maybe I just didn't press hard enough or whatever but I've watched other videos about foil glue um, or foil transfers and all that stuff and another uh, technique that I watched said after you cure the gel in your lamp to wipe it off with an alcohol wipe so I tried that on my second one and the reason being is they say that if you don't do that that sometimes the surface is just too like slippery because it's still glossy for the foils to adhere so oddly enough you'd think like if you wipe the sticky layer off with an alcohol wipe that it wouldn't work because you wiped the sticky layer off but the glue is somewhat magical apparently and even when you wipe that off it still keeps its uh, tackiness and still allows the foils to work so you'll see me try that on my second nail I wipe it with alcohol after I cure it and then try the transfer and honestly I kind of had the same result so I've looked into it a little bit further to just kind of get ideas on what could be my ish and what I've come to realize is I think that my foil gel glue whatever uh, was cold so just like any other gel product they need to be kind of warmed up and I had kept a 
a lot of my stuff I keep on on my nail station but this was like tucked away in a closet and my closet isn't heated and the doors closed and I'm in Washington State right now and we're dropping it's cold at night so um, I mean it's in my house the closets in my house but it doesn't have like a heat vent in it so when I close it it's a cooler room in the house so I think that the next time I try this I'm gonna make sure I have that foil gel out in my heated space um, because even when I used it I kind of noticed I was like oh it's really it's really thick which all my triple d gels are not like that and so i really think this just wasn't warmed up and that that can really affect gels performance so in general if you're using a gel whether it's a base or a top or a foil glue um make sure you keep them at like a good room temperature and i think that really makes a difference in their performance so i'll be i'll be using more foils in the future i really like the way that they look and i think they're pretty fun to work with but i just wanted to give you guys kind of my rundown and my trial and error and what um what i think would work best so there you'll see me wiping it off with an alcohol wipe and again having a very similar experience with the second nail but again I got it to all apply so I think it was a win in the end so now I've talked your ear off about foils and uh, let me know if you have any questions or what your experience has been or if you have any tips for me to try next time I've already done one more Manny with foils and it worked a lot better the second time um, but it was not a um, solid image transfer I was doing snowflakes spoiler you got a snowflake foil transfer Manny coming your way in the next week or so so stay tuned and i'll be back with you guys with some final thoughts in just a minute here So I went ahead and applied my gel base and top over those two nails and cured them. What do you think of the way that those foils turned out? I know I'm moving my hands around a lot and it's not really a good show, but I really liked the diagonal look. It's like a color blocking look, but not as hard as color blocking with dip. So this is the Candy Skincare um, Cuticle Candy Trio for this month. I quickly showed you the scents and I should have lingered a little bit more, but they're so holiday-y, which is funny because they're like holiday and holla they're just, they're so fun. So one of them was like a, um, one of them smelled like your Christmas tree or like a Christmas wreath. So, so good. This one was like a holiday kind of cookie scent. Um, anyway, they're super, super good holiday scents. So make sure you check them out, get them on your list. And uh, they'd be great gifts too, like stocking stuffers or like for the mother-in-law or sister-in-law or sister or mother. So that was my final look there. Um, and then I switched them out. So I went with the black on my thumb and index and then the, uh, the pinky color there, that gorgeous gold glitter is Golden Goddess and that was in the box but also released on the Triple D website. So if that's catching your eye like it caught mine, hop on over to tripledddivas.com and check that one out because it is a gorgeous gold glitter and I'm not usually a gold girl but like 
holy cow, it's so pretty and sparkly and I loved it so much. And I felt like the black and the gold with those accent nails in the middle just went so, so much better. I was really, really happy with this outcome. So uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you preferred. And uh, side note to the candy skincare, if you don't have a discount code to use, I have one down in the box below, so make sure you use that. And they have so many great products over there for stocking stuffers from like lip balm um, to can um, main candy for like your hair, and it's great for like staticky months in the winter. So anyway, check those out. And now I'm reapplying my uh, candy skincare because I just redid three nails, so I got to use it all over again. I'm never without this stuff, you guys. It's in my purse, it's in my desk drawer, it's on my nightstand, it's in my end table in my living room. Like, I'm addicted to this, like some people are addicted to chapstick. It's so, so good. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Thank you for bearing with me if you've been here this long. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a long one, but I had a lot to tell you guys. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next vid. Bye now.